Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarner with Weingarner Racing. If you've been paying attention to my channel, I have a video series that started about the L, um, the internet ports and LS3 head, and this is a Flowtech LS3 head. Whatever you guys uh, wanted to have done to the head, I'll do, and then I'll flow it, and we'll see what it does. So the first one that got asked probably the most was about dimpling. So I've done a little bit, and I'm gonna flow it here in a second and see what it does, but I'll explain what I've done. Hopefully you can get an idea. I use that burr that I talked about and I put like dimples through the floor. Now, if you notice, I tried to keep them uniform, but then I finally gave up. So it kind of went away because I was trying to go like, I don't know, I think it looks like a five on a domino. That didn't work um, because sometimes the burr will move a little bit and it gets off a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty close to the same. Now I did the floor to about here because you're starting the short side. And you might be asking, why did you do that? I also did, you can tell back there, the back of the bowl. And the reason for that is these areas should be the slower parts um, airspeed wise for the ports because it's pretty slow here, but it gets really fast right through the short turn right here. So this, this part's slower and I wanna, you would, the dimples in theory should create these little vertices which kind of shrinks down the effective area of the head. And since this part's the slower part of this airspeed, um, doing that should, um, help things and maybe make it flow better that's the thought anyway because when i go to fill up the port because someone mentioned that i'm going to fill the floor but anyway it's slow here but it does speed up tremendously across the short side um, that's normal for all heads so i have it done there because i really don't make that area feel like it's smaller because if he does then the air speeds increase even further but anyway did here and the back of the bowl because of the same way the air that hits better there will be as far less than going over the short side, so I put it through there. I'm gonna do it this way first, then I'm gonna finish dimpling the entire port and see what happens. So this would be the first step, then I'm gonna dimple the entire thing. So what you see here for this will be all the way, short side and all, um, and the next time I flow it. So I'll be hopefully attaching to this video. But we'll start off with this just to see what it does. All right, I'm gonna flow it and then I'll show the results. Here's a better view, by the way, of what it looks like in the bowl area, just there. As you can tell, I haven't done any of the rest. So we'll see what happens. All right, now I'm gonna flow it. Okay, now I have fully dimpled the entire port, just to give you a better idea of what's gone through. Um, I tried making it more uniform at first, but after probably the, I don't know, 300 dimple in it, I was just like, there, 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 there. You just get tired. As you can see some spots where it skipped, I was going in and then it was like, see ya. Well, I did it out a few times. So it's probably not the best in some areas, it's better than, than others. So if that gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Anyway, let's uh, tilt it up. There's this fruit fly I like to kill. And there you go. That gives you a better idea of what's going on. I'm gonna float like this and we'll see what happens. If I have time today, I'll actually dimple the chambers too. Now, I thought I haven't discussed, discussed or um, what the dimples actually do or anything, but let me kind of show you in a generic way. This is probably somewhat inaccurate, however close as I can get. All I needed someone to tell me five different ways in which it's wrong, but this would kind of give you an idea. This is the port itself and pretend these are the dimples, these little grooves here. The idea is that the air comes by and it makes these little eddies, okay? And then the air flows by and it's actually riding on these eddies. So what it does is it, if, if, even though the port, if you measured it, it's the same width, the air is actually riding on a smaller part of it and the air flows through and since it's riding on that, there's less friction and it should flow more air um, in theory. That's the theory for it. This is kind of the idea. The idea is that it reduces the boundary layer or increases the boundary layer so the air flows through. Like I said, I'm probably saying one of the two wrong, but this give, just gives you the idea. There's little eddies, it reduces the friction for the air, so more air should flow through and it should flow more. And that's the idea. So anyway, I've already floated with a half port and I'm gonna flow all the way down here and we'll see what happens. All right, onto the float winch. Okay, here's the results. The internet asked for it and I gave it. And thank God I only did part of the um, dimpling on the first pass and not the entire thing, because I would have missed a bunch. Um, here's what I mean. Let's get started. Remember, forget the exhaust. This is only dimpled on the intake. This is what we started off with. Same port, same valve, everything else. This was just dimpling the floor and the back of the bowl. 
the two areas where I would probably fill up with epoxy on one of the ports. If you notice, and by the way, for getting a one, at the one tenth of an inch valve lift, the reason why is because the valve is trying to be sucked open. So it's actually, even though it should be 100 valve lift, it's like 105, 110. So these numbers are a little skewed. By 200, they're on point. The spring's got enough pressure to keep it right there at that point. The valve can't be sucked open any further. Anyway, if we compare the numbers, this is just partial dimpling. You look, gain, 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 good gain, good gain, gain. And by the way, it's starting to fix some of the dip and only dropped five, which is about the same here, but it's still better. Gain, gain, barely a gain. But partial dimpling right there was a gain. Now, I'm glad I did that because if I had just dimpled the whole port, I never would have saw that result. This was completely dimpling everywhere. So this is over the short side. This is on the short side. This is at every single spot on the port. Let's look at this. This is stock. Gain, loss, about the same. Loss, 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 loss. The, from stock. This right here, I've now made the port worse by dimpling. So if you thought that just dimpling the entire port would make the head flow more, you would be inaccurate in that assumption because it made it flow worse. If you just dimpled the certain areas that need to, should have been filled up, in other words, you're kind of band-aiding a bad area, bad situation, help. Because look how much you lost. You lost five CFM by dimpling the whole thing right here. Another five there, six there, um, quite, it's about six there, um, seven. So, I mean, you're losing by dimpling the whole thing. They only dimple the spots that are where it's, where you would normally fill in. So that's an interesting result. So there's your results for dimpling. But let's get started on talking about what's gonna happen next. The next one's gonna be about valve jobs. And before I do this, I wanna talk about Several people have said, why don't you port one the way you would want to port it? And I'm going to. But usually, I would like to port one where it's the way I would want it, then one that's um, a little bit outside my norm. But you guys have three choices, and I'll get to those. So the um, point being is, one of the ports, I'm going to go ahead and put a 50-degree valve job on because that's one of my favorite ones. Um, it's either that or others. But I'm going to go over valve jobs, and I'll show you what I have available and show what we could put on it because that's going to be the next thing you get to choose. And I'm going to use your comments to pick what you want on there. And we're going to use this same port for now. We're actually going to do two ports. I'll put valve jobs. So really, the two that you guys pick the most will be put on two ports. And I'll have to reflow one of the ports because, you know, it's an ASCAST head. They may not all flow the same. So we'll have results from just that one and then so on and so forth. So anyway, um, let's look at the valve jobs. So these are just my 45 degree valve jobs and I've gone from least aggressive to most aggressive. And I'm not telling you the widths on these because I like to keep some things proprietary. Anyway, these are all 45 degree seats. That's the second angle right here is 45. This is the top cut, this is the seat, this is the undercut, 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 so on and so forth. So this one's my least aggressive one. It's got a 30 degree top cut, 45 degree seat. I don't remember how wide that one is. I hardly ever use this. This one I, is a custom cutter I developed for myself thinking this was gonna be the hot ticket. Turns out it was not very good except for in one case. On a dark Iron Eagle non-platinum head, this one came in perfect and it worked the best. Other than that, it's never worked well. But it's the least aggressive. And what I mean by that is these angles here will make the throat wider or narrower. So if you get more aggressive, say in the second, in the undercut, you'll start making the throat larger as you cut the valve job, okay? Also, it's how wide that back cut is, or undercut. So let's say this one was only 60 thousandths, but this one was 80 thousandths, well, you're dropping it in further. So as these go along, if the valve job's cut, it will make the throat larger. So this might, this one in all reality, if I try putting it on there, I probably won't even get the 65 in. I'll only probably get these three angles will come in. Um, these won't because the stock throat's probably larger than what these are anyway. This one, of course, all of them will probably come in because it's gonna make the throat much larger. So this is the least aggressive, most aggressive. And then the next one I have is a 35, 45, 60, 75, 82. This one is actually a Rottler cutter. This is not, I mean, it's a five angle, of course, but you can order this from Rottler. It's not a custom one, but I use it from time to time on some stuff. This one is a custom one. It's similar to this, um, except for the undercut. This one is probably my go-to valve job right here. I use this on most of my profiler as cast stuff and some of the um, ported stuff, I will use it on this. 
Um, this one is more my racy 45 degree valve job. I use this when a guy doesn't want to use a 50 uh, for whatever reason. Um, he's concerned about wear of the valve, but, and I use this. This one is really close to what my 50 degree flows. Okay, that's my 45 degree valve jobs. Now I've got, that's only 45s. This one is the one I'm gonna use. For, I have two 50s, this is not the one I'm gonna use. I have two 50 degree cutters. I use this one primarily the most. On Most of the times you see my 50 degree cutters used on my Dragon Slayers, it's this one. Now, of course, I'm not giving the widths because I would give away some of the secrets with it, but it is custom. Um, but I have this one that's with it. So they, they've got, this one's got a 45 degree top cut. This one's got a 40. Both are seat angle 50. One's got a 60, one's got a 65 undercut. You get the idea. Then I've got a 52 degree um, valve job. I've only got one of these. This was what kind of an experimental deal hoping to make up for this. The idea is that for someone that doesn't want to go with a 55, but doesn't would like to get better than a 50, let's try this one. I've used it a few times. Um, I don't know that it's that much better than this one. Every time I've tried, it's slightly better, but not dramatically. Then my 55 has been very successful, but it's successful on different heads. Um, I say 55, this is the seat angle. The, really the top cut's 44. Um, this one's really been successful in several of the things I've used it for, but the catch is usually you need more. It's for like this head, which I don't mind trying it. Um, you'll have to drop the valve job down quite a ways to get that 44 degree top cut to come in. Um, but anyway, this is by far the most aggressive one. So if you going from that's least aggressive, that's the most aggressive one. Okay. So this one went up having the throat, the, the biggest, this one up having the throat is the smallest. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm going to use this one right here. This 50 degree valve job right here will be used on one of the ports. So I'm gonna let you guys put in the comments, which one you want to see. So I'm leaving them up here Now I'll pick the two because I'm gonna let you guys do two ports. We'll use one for the dimpled one. The one that gets the most votes will be used on the dimple. The one that gets the second most votes will be used on a different port. I'll flow it exactly as it is. Then I'll put this valve job on and we'll start doing different stuff that you guys pick. Okay. This one, of course, sorry, this one right here will be the one I'll be using on mine that I would port for myself. Okay. There you guys go. Uh, get your pick in. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the dimple thing and I answered some questions about it. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments about how I did it wrong, and you're probably right. I don't, my personal opinion on dimples is it can be used as a band-aid, but if the port's right, I don't know that you necessarily need dimples. That's not to take away from any head that has it. If they have, like Tony Bischoff, of course, he put it in there for a reason. There's a reason for them. I mean, he's not using it as a band-aid, probably as an, an enhancement for what he's already done. But just adding dimples to another head, usually it seemed like a band-aid. For instance, putting on that, the floor that really the floor should have been filled in, but instead the dimples make up for that. That's my view, and I could be wrong. Um, you're more than welcome to have your opinion. That's just mine. So anyway, let me know what you think, and we'll do another one. I don't know when I'll be, and also I'll be quite honest, I, I'll try to get the valve job done and put out, try to put out a video on Sunday, but it might not happen until like a Monday. And the reason for it is, as you guys know, the throwdown in T-Town is on Friday and Saturday, and I'm gonna try to have the car ready, and it's gonna take up time that I don't have anyway. So I don't know that I can get a video done, just saying you might not have a text video next Sunday, but hopefully you will by the next Monday. All right, guys, take care.